Happy New Year! Hello, Sycamore. The final countdown continues for our first semester. News crew. Three more days. I'm Gabby. And I'm Laurel. Today is Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. Yes, three more days remain to end our, of our first semester, so stay focused on working hard and studying for success. Let all the hard work to focus on standing with our fellow Americans and those who fight for our free country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance yes, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you to all our military heroes who defend our freedoms every day, and let's please be seated. Congratulations to the following wrestlers who placed at the Cincinnati Country Day Invitational this past weekend. Congratulations to Sycamore wrestlers Luca Herrera, Liam Mitchell, and Julian Hemphill. All came in third place. And Kaden Clark, Atai Kubanichpikov, Cody Feldman, and James Geary all came in second place. First, robotics. It's competition time. You have a meeting Wednesday after school in Mrs. Jarvis's room for extended practice time, as well as plan for Friday practice time. Sign up and check the team schedule in your school email. Here's a reminder from our high school's innovation lab. Zoom Lab, and re remember, registration deadline is Wednesday, January 10th. Be responsible. Check, check, check your emails every day, people. Be responsible and make this a great place to work for our future goals. Mark your, Mark your calendars. calendars. Approaching quickly on January 17th is upcoming freshman camp where 8th graders go to the high school. 8th graders, remind your parents to plan around the 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. time frame for early dismissals. The 21st Annual Student to Student Forum is Thursday, January 30th, 2024, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Sycamore High School, room 1809. Inclement weather date is February 1st. Next, Next up, up, Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Uh, Mr. Stern here to do this week's Athlete of the Week. Um, but before we do that, hey, we've got a big week here at the junior high. We've got boys basketball. We've got girls basketball. Uh, we've got a wrestling match today here uh, in our main gym after school. And uh, the dance team uh, will also be performing uh, this week. Of course, the cheerleaders will be there as well. Um, and we've got swimming and diving championships coming up soon. So it's a lot going on in sports. If you have some time, you want to come out and see some of your peers, um, please join us here at the junior high. With that being said, I am sitting here with Andrew Poor, and Andrew Poor is our seventh grade gold basketball athlete of the week and coach brown says andrew brings desire hustle hard work and grit to the team while he is generally outsized by most of his opponents that does not overshadow his competitive spirit andrew is a strong rebounder and aggressive defender he is not afraid to get on the floor for loose balls or mix it up underneath fighting for rebounds andrew is a tough competitor and a student of the game because of these attributes, Andrew was selected by his teammates as a team captain. That's awesome. You knew that, right? Okay, perfect. I wish Andrew the best of luck as he continues through this season and into the future in both academics and athletics. So, and Andrew, this is your certificate and free Chick-fil-A for your efforts. Congratulations. That's awesome. And our second athlete of the week... This is Max Danner, and Max Danner is our recipient for the 8th grade gold basketball. And uh, Coach Teet says, Max is a hardworking player who always has a positive uh, attitude. He gives his absolute best each day. 
Max is a good ball handler who gets us into our offense, and he is also a very good has a very good jump shot to go with it. The most important quality, though, is his team first attitude. He is always positive with his teammates, even if they make mistakes. This is a sign of good leadership that really impacts the team. Congratulations, Max. That's fantastic. So here is your certificate as well and your free Chick-fil-A. Congratulations. Hey, you know, uh, something that we always want to think about when we're hearing about our Athletes of the Week, that it always goes beyond the court, goes beyond the field. Um, these young men, this week happens to be young men, uh, they have attributes that go well belong, uh, beyond what goes on, uh, on on the field or on the court. So uh, fantastic for them. Have a great day. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Birthdays! Happy birthday to... Samantha W. and Holden W. Have a wonderful day celebrating your special day with family and friends. Now time for the joke of the day. What do you call two ducks and a cow? I don't know what. Quackers and milk. <laughs> well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Follow PBIS expectations and go A's! Guys, that's Avery who makes the music. Hey, Sycamore Junior High, we just wanted to let you know that as the second quarter came to an end, our time in news crew is coming to a close. This is your fifth fellow news crew signing off. <laughs> you want to hold my hand? Recording. Okay, okay. You can hold my hand. Oh, it's recording? Do you need a script or anything? Or no. Okay, guys, Hi. it's recording. No, okay, no for the no, final no. part of the outro, we're going to talk about Ash Luke, what his favorite part about news crew was. What was your favorite part about news crew, Luke? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gee, I liked the right. That's nice. Thank you, Luke. Okay. Here, look at the camera, camera. Look at that. Look at that. Is it still recording? Yeah. And for the final part of our news crew, Murray wants to say goodbye. Give him a phone, Murray. Paul? Paul? <laughs> no.